<laughs> Turning a few heads now, I'll tell you why. <laughs> Welcome to TransLogic, I'm Jonathan Buckley. EVs and hybrids tend to dominate green vehicle discussions lately, but there are super efficient gas powered vehicles out there roaming the back roads and the highways or just itching to get off the factory floor. And if Elio Motors has anything to say about it, they'll be leading the pack with their super efficient and very affordable three-wheeler. So my first experience in the Elio it's kind of fun. The first time you hop in this thing, it looks so small from the outside, but as soon as you hop in, it's like, I have plenty of room. It's like I'm laying back here. As far as performance figures go, you've got an inline three-cylinder engine. It's a 900cc engine. It's making about 55 horsepower. They say it takes about 10 seconds to get to zero to 60. So it's not a performance car. It's not out there to blow the doors off of a BMW M3. That's not the intention in this vehicle. It's about having a new way to get yourself around without using up all this space, without using all this gas. 84 miles to the gallon on the highway. That's 49 miles to the gallon in the city. And it's a total range on a tank of gas, 672 miles. So that'll get you where you need to go pretty cheap. And it's $6,800, it's a pretty good option. Well, to find out more about this little beast behind me, let's talk to the founder and CEO of Elio Motors, Paul Elio. Mate, thanks very hey. much for letting me drive Thank the you. prototype. I have to say, I did give it a little bit of a thrashing out there, and I was very impressed. It does really well. Well, two things, it's fun to drive. It's, yeah. You feel like you're a little indie car. And two, you don't know you have only three wheels unless you stick your head out the window. When it comes to price point on this car, you've projected $6,800 when it's released. How are you managing to do that? First of all, it's a lightweight vehicle. It weighs about 1,200 pounds. Most small cars weigh 2,400 pounds. Half as much stuff costs less. It just does. Part of it's the design process. So we get all the suppliers together about every four to six weeks, and we engineer the vehicle as a group. And so we optimize on vehicle costs instead of park costs. You mentioned 1,200 pounds. Is that the key to the extreme mileage that you're getting out of the Elio? Oddly, no. So mass dominates your city mileage, and aerodynamics dominate your highway mileage. So by sitting two people front to back instead of side by side, we're half as wide, we move half as much air, we get double the mileage. There's no match here. Yeah, yeah. And being able to, like I say, being able to put your elbows on either side, it's kind of like a rolling armchair. The engine is a little bit sluggish, but as I've talked to the guys from Helio, this isn't the final engine that will be in the production model. This is a prototype engine, so the actual final production model will have a more powerful engine. It's close to double the torque that this one has. Safety-wise, how does it stand up? We have engineered it to achieve a five-star crash rating in all directions. Mm -hmm. And everybody knows that mass is part of the safety equation, right? Mass yep. is, more mass is better in, in an impact. It's not the only variable. I mean, think about an Indy car. It weighs 1,600 pounds. They drive into a wall at 200 miles per hour, and the guy walks away. It's not the only variable. If you notice, it has a very long nose. Yeah. So we have a lot of crumple zone to, to slow that event down. You know, we have three airbags, a front and two side. And because of our front to back seating, we fire all three airbags in every event. Who would you say that the Elio is targeted directly at? I, I know it sounds trite, but we say it's E for everyone. If you're starting out and your option is a 120,000 mile clunker mm -hmm. for $7,000 or a brand new Elio, you pick the Elio. Yep. And in, a, as you progress, uh, you have your Escalade and you buy your Elio to go back and forth to work in. We're the first and car in seven or car. But handling wise, it feels great. There's very little body roll. You forget that you've only got one wheel back there. He's got such a low center of gravity that to get this thing out of shape, you'd really be having to do something a little bit silly. As far as driving this thing is concerned, I think it's a hoot. It's not refined by any means. I mean, you don't have power steering, which I don't mind. It's a very visceral driving feel. You can feel all the bumps. You can feel the steering. You can hear the engine. But I think that all adds to the experience. I see the potential in this car for sure. It's still in a prototype phase and it's gonna need a considerable amount of work 
But once this thing's refined, this thing's gonna be a winner. Is it considered a car or a motorcycle? It is a motorcycle. Per the federal government, if you right. have three wheels or less on the road, it's a motorcycle, not a car. So does that mean that you can use the carpool HOV lane just the same as a motorcycle can? Well, we're a motorcycle, so yes, you can drive in the HOV lane all by yourself. But you don't have to wear a helmet. We're going through state by state getting that changed because there was a, a handful that you had to wear a helmet inside the vehicle. Um, it actually is unsafe. In a twist of irony, you guys have taken over a little factory down in uh, Louisiana that used to be run by Hummer, kind of the antithesis of the Elio. Right, and, and it's not such a little factory. It's 4 million square feet, which is 100 acres under one roof. You've had about 13,000 pre-orders on the Elio. Correct. We have 13,000 reservations currently and uh, going up every day, obviously. Well, when you're running at full capacity, how many Elios do you hope to be producing down the track uh, per year? 250,000 units per year. Wow. Which is a large number. And, and we can do that because we're, we're not really competing against other new vehicles. Yeah. I don't think people are going to opt for this over a Toyota Yaris. Yeah. Right? It's an and car. It's, it's a new market. It's a new segment. So there you go. The Elio is pretty much everything it claims to be. A cheap, stylish, and capable commuter vehicle. And while it's not top of the line or super high performance, it's actually a whole lot of fun to drive. And judging by the response so far, seems like people are liking it too. But we won't know for sure until we start seeing more of these on the road. For TransLogic, I'm Jonathan Buckley.